Hello dear students, today we are going to learn how to import KDD Cubset data into MySQL for respective project. First of all, what we will do, we will forward one RAR file to you, msd with KDD Cub.rar. This RAR file will contain number of files, you don't need to worry. Then we already forwarded you the tutorial for WAMP, just get it installed. Once you have in installed the WAMP, for installation just follow the same tutorial that will be explanatory for you so in this tutorial I'm going not going to tell how to install WAMP and other details once your WAMP is been installed just start the WAMP through your desktop or you can go like this one from here you, you are able to start once the WAMP is been started uh, icons available over here ok localhost and php model right now we need to work on localhost and php model then just go for www it's available in c vamp www over there paste your rar file over here msd with kdd cup and extract it outside so it's folder it over here msd and it contains number of php files so what is msd actually msd use for large database backups and restoration okay so where is our kdd cup in your work and backup it's 68 mb file but it contains around 48 lakhs and more than that uh, uh, records you are able to see in msd itself uh, it, uh, it has taken it had taken around 20 days for us to extract this file already the files are available with the KTD but to convert it to an SQL it has taken around 20 days so the program has been running for 20 days to extract for that program we already run 4 threads so just multiply 20 with the 4 so you are able to get how much time it will take to import after that for backing up into this file of 68 MB the total database size after extraction is of 10 GB in MySQL, the forms and other details, data folder. But for compression and other things, again it has taken five days to backup this SQL file, this KDD backup. So it contains your SQL file for large databases. Clear? So here we have pasted, we have pasted MSD in your www. So let's move. Just click on WAMP and select localhost once you are in localhost just go for msd ok here we have expected that your username and password for your vamp and your mysql is root and no password so it's directly go and right now what things uh, we use this backup feature to backup our database clear and right now what we need to do we need to go for restore just click on restore select database here is already a select database KDD. ok right now just check any other details file date then the number of records it's having so it's ok 86 lakhs and it's in 67 point then free space available on your server you must be requiring around 10 gb free space right now we are not going in that much so just click on restore shoot the kdd cup restore from the records in the file ok then you will get this error selection of database kdd field what is the problem let's move for the php my admin vamp php my admin and just check over here is there any kdd no so how it's possible to import no database has been created by the name of kdd so it's not possible to import on that so first create kdd create database on the home screen itself you will get create database kdd and just click on create once it's been created again go to the restore select kdd 
and just click on restore. Okay, so it's been started. Okay, here is up to 294 and number of records over here. 8687681 Those we are going to restore. And you if you wish to check the restore, just click on this KTD. It's working on this one. So just home. Again go into KTD. It's a bit buggy over there. And just click on KTD. So your data is started to the restore. Okay, these are the features we extracted. One more thing we came across, it might happen that you will get some error over here. Execution is taking too much long time. So let me explain you what will happen. Because of MSD is an external program, it might take it just check over here each time it refreshes and it's capture some data from that file and it's going to import but whenever it's going to capture it's going to capture around 200 records like around 200 records so it might take more time than the execution as expected from the php what happens php having some certain limit of execution time how much ex execution time need to be given for particular script so that is usable if at all any script is going to hang after that execution time it will give you an error you are able to increase the execution time for scripts if at all you get some error over here that uh, it's taking too much execution time and other so what you need to do just go in vamp php and php ini over here just control F and select uh, just search for exe safe mode then just move next here maximum execution time for each script we have increased note the directive is hard coded to zero but we have increased it to 20,000 depending on yours you are able to increase then the input time we are given is 60 and memory limit is 128 MB. What I will do, I will scroll, the most important you need to work on this. But meanwhile what I will do, I will scroll throughout my php.ini. If at all anyone gets any problem, you are able to compare your ini or your php settings with our current settings. So let me scroll one by one. Why you prefer MySQL? Because MySQL has an open source and number of things are already available in MySQL. This MSD and backup. Depending on your requirement, you are able to use this or backup one with your other servers like Oracle, Postgres. You just need to convert into your respective one. Yeah, resource limit error handling
and most of researchers are using KDD for their thesis. So we most times prefer to go for the KDD. The remaining thing other than the execution limit or any other you never require for this uh, restoration but still I am going through it why because it might happen anyone will get any problem for the execution so at the safe side Actually, uh, we have tried to export uh, through the previous sessions of uh, VAMP. There is option to export. Okay, it's done. Let me close this one. Just save this file and just go in VAMP and just restart all services and just go again in MSD. It will work for you. Then there is one more option in our VAMP itself that uh, in MySQL to export and restore database. We are able to use the same, but for its large database, around 10 GBs of database is already been stored. So whenever we are going to export, it doesn't allow above 120 MB. And the file of uh, the data of extracted need to be around 4 GBs, the SQL file. So it's not possible for our normal web to extract the SQL file. For the same purpose, we need to use MSDB. Okay, MySQL dumper. Its name is MySQL dumper. So we are able to restore and backup large databases. So I guess it's done. Uh, around it will take it will take longer time to restore everything. So you need to keep your system running till it's going to restore. So it will take longer time. Around expected date for to restore, it's two to three days. But depending on your processing power and resources it will take more so thanks for watching let me remind you the steps just copy the msd into your ww folder msd then just go in this url localhost msd ok then create kdd data set after a database and after that just click on restore select your database over here and here and just click on restore so thanks for watching to get KDD data set and this SQL just contact at techpush.project project at thread gmail.com thanks for watching